hogs, dogs, and more. On many ranches, there are so many hogs that it's virtually impossible to kill them out with a gun. Uh, no matter how hard you try, they multiply so fast and at such a young age and have so many babies, there's just no way with a gun that you can kill them all. So trapping is a real effective way to get them off too. But there's another way, and this is a, a different way. It's probably the most exciting way I've ever hog hunted. It's hog hunting with dogs. Check this out where you're going to see how effective the dogs are at getting out the pigs. It's exhilarating, and you, you just can't, you just don't understand till you go and try. It's a recreation. We don't go to the mall and walk around and spend money, or we don't go to the picture show. We go out and either go fishing or hunting, or get out in the wild and just have a lot of fun. And uh, something we enjoy. Started over the fence and into the brush, and we walked a, probably a quarter of a mile down through some a wooded area with a lot of rock and stuff on the side of the side of a hill. Went off down the off this hill down into a little catchy, and then the, hit a creek, and the dogs were in the in the bend of a creek. And uh, I told Jackie and Christy to turn Casper loose, and we got in there and. Casper caught the hog, we heard him screaming. I hollered at uh, Cody and said, there they are, they're right there on that bend. And he was trying to get it. I looked at him and we both fell in the creek. <laughs> and walking down the side of that deal. And uh, got in there, got, went to trying to get the dogs off and snapping leads on them, getting away from the hog so Casper could hold the hog. And uh, then I jumped out there and got a hold of her leg, trying to get the dogs away from her. And we slid around in the water for about five minutes, seemed like 10. We have Con, which is a strike dog. And we have Smoke is a strike dog. Con is a black male, Catahoula, and black and tan. And uh, Smoke is a Lacey, Catahoula. And they're both strike dogs. Then Con's brother Booger is the same as Con. He's a they're, in fact they're litter mates. And he's a bay dog. And the strike dogs, you take them out and they'll strike. They start to hunt, they start the track. And they run the track. And then the bay dogs, like Booger and Rustus and Bully are all three bay dogs, they stop the hog. Now they get around him and they'll stop him from running. And the strike dog, all his job is is to strike the hog and get it started and catch up with it. And then the bay dogs have got to turn it and hold it. And then you bring in, like Casper, you turn him loose or you bring him in to where you can see the hog. And you release him, and then he goes in and catches and holds it. you got to have a lot of faith in the catch dog. <laughs> Let me guarantee you. Because that hog, you know, you got the hogs down there. This dog's got to hold him while you try to tie him. Or two, you can get a hold of the hog and stop the hog. The hog can't be able to go away from you. And you want that dog turning loose of the hog just about the time you come in there. And you have to know that that dog's going to hold. Or you're in trouble. Because the other dogs are supposed to, they're never supposed to touch the hog, actually. In fact, today they were a little bit rough on that hog. I, I don't really like them to get that to hold that hog. But now, you did, we didn't want to lose the hog either. So that's the reason he was letting leave them alone. But uh, you have to have a bond between you and them, the dogs. And I know a lot of people, uh, hog hunters that I've seen in the past and I, that I know right now, they think a successful hog hunt is when you go out and kill three or four dogs. My idea of a successful hog hunt, when you go out and you catch three or four hogs and you don't get a dog hurt. 
or anybody else. See, I tied her twice, tied one side twice, and the other side four times, then got her up there and she got loose again, didn't she? And then we got us a lariat rope, and dug her up there and throwed her in the back of the truck. I don't know whether you'd call it hunting or not because I don't take a gun. I never carry it. I don't haul them. We catch them because, you know, there's somebody that didn't want them. Our main objective is to get them off of the place. And sometimes you can't trap them, so we go in with the dog. We go in there and catch the hog, and we take it off. And I don't want to kill all the hogs. Well, you have to have some way of feeding those dogs, so we sell part of our hogs, and those hogs that we sell, we use to finance our, our, our hobby, our play, I guess you'd call it. But, uh, and some of them we keep up, and then we'll kill them along, or we'll, if somebody wants one, or one of our friends want a hog, we'll let them have a hog, and then they'll take them to the locker, and they, you know, we don't waste them. We don't just kill them, Throw them away. Every hog we ever catch is you. It's something that you gotta you gotta learn to love it. Of course, if you're a hunter, you learn to love anything. 